Ko Nichiwa, Minus Chisakura, and you're watching Bucket Cost. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on an iOS app, and that is Photomath. Alright, so as far as I understand, this you use to take a picture of your math, and it will tell you if you are correct. Or help you solve it, I should say. I'm very curious to see exactly um, what. It's going to be able to do, and I spent some time just downloading a lot of images, and we'll try those out. See if this thing could actually answer any of them. Because I'm just more curious if it will work. <clears throat> What's it's going to be able to do? So, as always, Tim is trying out the app. First, I'm trying the app a version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer started, and away we go. So. Okay, scan math problems for an instant result. Learn with step-by-step -step instructions. Ooh. Comes with a very good calculator. Nice. Explore multiple solving options. Ooh. No, I don't want to register. I'm just literally just trying this out. Okay, so it automatically uses your camera. Got the calculator. You got... Oops, sorry. Okay, so you can actually access all solutions for scannable textbooks, including word problems. Don't see yours. Okay. That's actually quite nice. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's go over to... Here? So, I got... Um, I'm hoping I can keep uh, my microphone nice to where it will, you guys will be able to hear me and I can actually move around but let's see okay so it did not actually take a picture of everything interesting so that's not good So, where to go? 11. Plus 0 plus 1 plus 11 plus 1 times 0 plus 1 is 1. Wait, what? Equals. Okay, so according to this, it is 29. Okay, when in adding or subtracting zero, the quality drops, the uh, quality does not change. Okay. Any expression multiplied by zero equals zero okay so this isn't bad it's actually explaining everything out quite nicely yes thank you okay so yeah it didn't actually do well about it so let's try the next one okay Dang it. Uh, okay. I have to unplug one of the cords. Hopefully this doesn't mess up everything. There we go. I said just uh, unplug the power. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, when there is a, we're here in front of the, kind of change, okay. And then, all right, cool. So it actually did solve it. Have no idea what it was talking about. It's been a while. So, now I don't know if it will do this one because there's just no numbers really in it. 
but it's, oh, it's a graph. Oh, wow, that is quite impressive. Look at that, it automatically did to the graph. Huh, okay, next photo. Okay, so it is, solution is one. I guess. <laughs> See, this is the thing: is that I can do. I, I'm I'm okay at math. Like I got a um, I basically I have a game at Scrabble, but with numbers. But when it comes to a little bit more advanced, you know, little things like here, it's like I have to th remember how to do it. Oh, what's going on? Oh, dang it! There's ads. Yes, I got you downloaded, and I will be playing you a little bit later today. I should mention there is actually no sound at all um, in this app. Which means I'm going to take off my headphones. <laughs> well, that's good because you don't want to be using the app and then the teacher are like, Where is this music coming from? Okay, who's cheating? Okay, let's uh, zoom in see if I can get get one of these to work. I don't think it's going to be able to see this. <laughs> okay, isn't able to see it. That's a problem. So we're going to go down to the next one because it's just... Yeah, okay. Oh! Well, that's a nice... Wow, it actually... No, wait. What? Whoa, it, it actually did it. Huh. Okay, now this is a surprise. I didn't think it was actually going to be able to uh, scan this in and see it. And my brain's already shortened to hurt now, because I have no idea what it's talking about, so we'll just move on before my head explodes. Okay. Ah, oh, it really does recognize a lot. I'm quite impressed with this. I really wish I had this when I was going to school. Thanks a lot, guys. Jeez. I mean, let's face it, back in the day, uh, the TI-83 and the TI-82, I mean, if you had an 83, oh, amazing. If you had anything higher than an 83, you were a god. And, of course, I had a friend, he had an 83, and he was writing a Star Trek encyclopedia for it. I kid you not. Wow. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, we got a challenge. Can you be able to scan all that in? I honestly don't know how you do this. Did it uh, scan it all in? I don't know. Okay, that one I'm not sure of. That one actually did it. Okay, and we don't want to do those. Okay, here we are. Um, it's... Okay. Oops! <laughs> oh, that's funny! It... <laughs> Let's fix that up. It's scan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's at least one problem that we can automatically see with this app. It's 
Not a big deal. It's super easy to fix with a penny. But, I mean, come on. <laughs> That's funny. That really is. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That's hilarious. Okay, so it did do the graph and everything. That's great. <laughs> okay. For all of you who didn't notice why I'm laughing, you're just kind of like scratching your heads. So what happened is, um, I scanned it in, but it took the um, the number of the problem and added it into the equation. So instead of it being 3z, it made it 13z, since it scanned into 1. So that's what I'm saying, with a penny, you might be able to fix that. Wow. And there goes the timer. Okay. Oh, that's funny. That really is. Okay. <laughs> okay, well... When it comes down to it... There we go, we'll get some power on it because I don't want to drain my battery. That's a really cool uh, little app for free, and I like that. I didn't. Well, I wasn't able to find super hard problems. Like I really wanted to get some trigonometry and maybe some calculus, but I wasn't able to actually find some decent photos of um, some of the equations that I was curious to try. However, we got a good array of different ones to at least see what it's going to do, and. I like how it automatically can recognize a lot of them. Um, we only had, I think, really two problems, uh, I'm sorry, two issues that I saw come up which were unique. Number one was the uh, one where we had all those numbers in the equations and all that. And instead of it being scanned in appropriately for it would show up here and then be able to explain how it found its answer, it was, it just scanned in a little bit and then didn't give me an actual, this is how you solve it for that one. So that one, I don't know if it was because it just didn't scan it all in properly or what. So I don't know if that one was the correct. And then the, the silliest issue that I saw happened to be the fact that if there is any um, numbers in front of the equation it automatically adds those in so you go on to make sure to not include those numbers in what you're scanning in so it's an easy fix but I think it's a hilarious oversight that is actually pretty funny but very clever how the, I mean this thing is actually quite amazing it automatically scans things in and it will automatically know if it's going to be a graph if it's going to be something else when we scanned in uh, the, the triangle and all that it automatically pulled everything in separated it into an equation and solved it for me so this is very good app to have if you're going into math and everything because yes I know there's some teachers out there who's like you shouldn't be able to use a calculator it's like, but if I'm in the real world I'm allowed to use a calculator that is not important you are at school and you need to learn how to do it click it solved it for me and guess what, if I was on the job, click, solved it for me, would be accepted. That defeats the purpose of being in my class. You need to learn how to do it. Click, it solved it for me, my boss would be happy. I hate you all. So, it's one of those things like that. Is that I've always noticed that, you know, the teachers are always, you have to do it step by step. When I was doing math, um, I did have some trouble with uh, geometry, which is funny since I actually went into digital imaging. <laughs> but anyway, um, 
some geometry uh, equations were difficult for me. I knew how to uh, create shapes and all that and how to do that and how to get, you know, certain things. But having a program to help me get it to what I need to isn't a bad thing either because even like when I was doing uh, web design, there was a couple of things that I had trouble doing. So I would always make um, um, libraries of different uh, code to help me and I'd be able to pull it up and I'd have my example ready to go and I'm like, okay, that's how I do it. And I'd be able to use it again. But it was always a difficult thing for me to remember how to do those complicated XML uh, and JavaScript things. So I'd always have samples ready to go for I can pull it up and refamiliarize myself with things. So when it comes to apps like this and people are always just like, in school, you have to learn how to do it. You need to write down everything you did and all that. And it's like, <sighs> right. This right here would have been at least nice because if I was having trouble on a problem, then it would teach me how to do it. And I, I really, I really like that they're able to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is really cool. Question of the video is, I guess, best way to say it is, do you like having apps that can help you solve problems that, let's face it, you're never going to really use in real life? Um, do you like having calculators and apps to help you solve the math problems? That, or would you rather do it by hand? Now, like I was saying, it all depends on what it is. There's a lot of math I can do right in my head, no problem, get it done, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm okay. Graphs... Um, geometry, some algebra I can't do, and because it's not a huge thing in the f in uh, the real world, I actually need to use it. You know, yeah. So I work in produce. Honestly, I'm not going to be like, okay, the circumference of this watermelon makes it hard to put it on the shelf. But if we use the diameter of it and figure out the average di, you know. Uh, circumference of every watermelon and get ourselves an average of all watermelons we might be able to find a better way to make space for all the watermelons to fit out here at once they would look at me and be like plop look i found out how much space this takes plop number two watermelon i found how much space this works you know it's things like that so having an app right here with the does the things that i personally don't need to know how to do or i'm very bad at is a very good thing and I would have used this when I was going to school though my math teachers would have been seriously like you need to write anything even when I was in math and I'd be sitting there like finish all the problems turn my homework and like you have no work how did you get this it's like it's seven minus 13 do I really need to write down the steps and add on uh, a zero onto the seven and then add in all this. I could do that in my head. You know? So, yeah. Personally, I, I have to say I love these. I don't mind doing them, the problems without these, if I am able to. But I'd rather use an app because sometimes my mind doesn't work. <laughs> but, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about apps that are getting way more advanced and for all of you who were going to school back in the day you know 90s and earlier before we had all these crazy apps and everything how do you guys feel about the that the kids finally have the easy street that's the easiest way to say it i'm sorry because <laughs> yeah it's just like because well how i see it when i see these things it's like that's no fair I mean, yeah, I had an amazing um, 80, I think it was an 82 I was what I had, and then I finally got an 83. But you still had to learn how to use that puppy, instead of just click, hey, it solved it! That's insane. Well, thank you guys for watching. This was actually a lot of fun to try out and uh, see just how good it is. That was enjoyable. <laughs> so thank you guys. This is Tisa Kurt saying ciao and sayonara.